Hey fellow scuba divers, it is Chris from Just Keep Diving. We just got back from Destin, Florida. Do you know what I feel the number one operator is in Destin? Stay tuned, I'll tell you. We just got back from Destin. Kind of told you a little bit beforehand. I gave you a hint on the card. Where is the number one place or who is the number one operator for Destin, Florida? Well, out of everybody that's down there, we have been to other places in the Gulf Coast area. And uh, for the Destin area, we only go to one shop now. And there's multiple reasons for that. But the main reason is um, just their personality. That we, we don't dive all summer long with them. We walk in the door and it's, hey, Chris and Tammy. I mean, how can you, you, you don't get that at a lot of other shops, especially whenever they've been as busy as they have. I mean, you know, they don't see us but two or three times a year, but they know who we are. Where it really starts off at, and I, I and I'm not putting Ray or anybody else down, but where it really starts off at is Mark and Ann at the shop answering the phones. They are willing to give you information and tell you when and where and how. They're, you want to come in and just rent tanks, they're fine with that. They'll come in and just rent tanks. But if it's 5 o'clock in the or 4 o'clock in the afternoon and the tide is against you and its waves are against you, they're going to sit there and say, are you sure? Because... The, this is the conditions that are out there right now. We've had boats out there all day, and they're talking to us and telling us what's going on. They want you to be safe. They want you to come come back and say, that was a great dive. And Mark and Ann started off. I mean, started off. And they get to know you. Then you get to Ray and Sean and um, Derek and all the other, you know, Patrick and all the other dive guides, well, they stay, they maintain that through there and they caringly help you. They want you to have good dives. They want you to enjoy the sport of scuba diving. And if they see you're having an equipment issue or if they see you're having um, safety issues, say, hey, look, you know, this kind of worked a little bit different. Even though they may not be your dive guide, they're going to come up and say, hey, let's talk for a second. And, and, and that's beautiful. Then we move to the boat. Now, like I said, Mark, Ann, and them have started at the shop. Ray, all of them, great in, in the safety, great in the dive guides. And then you get to Tom and Nevin and Derek on the boats. They want you to enjoy yourself, and they want you to be safe at the same time. I mean, they're going to show you how to get around the boat. They're going to show you how to do everything. Their safety briefings are spot on, and you can't fault them. They're going to go to a spot. If they don't like the spot, they're going to go somewhere else. You're not going to know where you're going to any single day because every spot changes. Or maybe you're heading to a spot and you look out there and you see four fishing boats on the spot that you were going to go diving. Don't want to dive there. Yeah, the fishermen aren't going to move for you. And then you get the training. Okay, let's talk about the training. Guys, if you go to Emerald Coast Scuba and you make mistakes after you're done that's on you because sean and ray patrick all of them they want to make sure that you know exactly what to be doing in the water we did our peak performance buoyancy which we will have another video on that here in a little while we'll do a peak we did a peak performance buoyancy with ray ray I guess felt I was doing okay or I was controlling myself okay which is perfectly fine because I, I think he figured out that I was kind of there to make sure I wasn't making mistakes you know I, I was getting my buoyancy down like I needed to but I really wanted to do this class for Tammy to help her get because she's had some buoyancy issues we were 15 minutes into the class and he sat there and he says let's all go back up went back up said uh did some stuff i got a video said i'm fixing to put it up right now so what you're seeing on the video what you're seeing on the pictures is ray taking zip ties and ankle weights 
and putting them together. Where can you get that? I mean, you know, he's trying to do what he can to help Tammy. We came back up at the end of that dive. There happened to be another BC that she could fit a different style of BC. Went back down on the dive, and she was 100% more confident in her diving. Which, if she can be more confident and comfortable in diving, you can be confident and comfortable in diving, you'll improve yourself on your performances each and every time that you dive. What can I say? If there was a 10 out of 10 for Emerald Coast, I would give it to them. But the five stars, I give it to them too. If whatever top rating you can get for Emerald Coast, call Mark, call in. You know, I almost forgot. How do you get there? If you go on 98 West from the toll bridge, what you're going to do is you're going to go 98 West from the toll bridge to the donut hole. Now start slowing down because now you're looking for the Taco Bell. When you see the Taco Bell, go into the driveway next to it. If you miss that driveway, take the next street on the right. Then it's on. Then take the driveway to the right because it goes into their back lot. If you're coming from the bridge, I believe that's Sandestin. I don't know. If you're coming from the west, from Pensacola Way, coming from the bridge, you're going to see the Motel 6. When you see the Motel 6 on your left, Get ready because your next street, you're going to make a left. And then the drive to the right goes straight to the driveway. Um, guys, do what you got to do. I know this is just my own personal review. But I can't say enough about them, really. Um, Emerald Coast Scuba. Said that you guys will always be our training center. You guys will always, always, always be the place we go to in Destin to Dive. That's that's it. I mean, there's no other no other way anybody can tell me I need to go somewhere else. Just keep diving, guys. Just keep diving on the budget.